Welcome back YouTube. Thanks for coming to check out another Fat Guy Builds video. Here we got some progress going on. It's on a lift and uh, we're just going to run through all the progress so far and what's going to happen next. We got the uh, downpipe, stainless steel and uh, it's tack welded and now he's going to get to TIG welding. It's an argon fill. So let's see what it looks like when it's done. We got an air tunnel slash uh, deflect air deflector tunnel, whatever you want to call this. Uh, to, it also mounts the bottom of the intercooler and it gives the air nowhere to go once it comes in the bumper. It can't just go down, so helps out. We had to switch from the thicker half radiator, the three row, to the two row um, full radiator. So we technically have better cooling and it fits because the wastegate was in the way for the other stuff. So we did that. We're going to have to notch out uh, a moon circle shape here. That's about 3 8 in just to give us a little more clearance on the turbo side uh, for when the motor is moving around while we're driving. And we got a 90 degree on the turbo that goes down for the intake. And the intake, the intake comes down, pulls another 90, and then the filter will be, we're going to have to notch this, and the filter will be in the corner of the bumper. For the catch can to work properly, we need vacuum, right? So, we have this hose, and this is the adapter. You drill, you punk, poke a hole in this rubber, you put this through, the turbo's pulling a vacuum, so that'll pull a vacuum on that, which will make the catch can work properly. Then for the boost controller, we need a reference. The reference will actually go on this, this pipe, and it's the same fitting though, so it's another one of these, and it'll go in this pipe so the boost pressure can activate and deal with controlling boost. So the exhaust starting from the downpipe coming over we got a flex and it's going straight into an MBRP resonator hooking a 90, it's all fitting in the stock area, a 90, it comes over here, comes through, and then on the back side, we got a V-band connection here, and this is a nice oval Magnaflow, so it shouldn't sound like ricey garbage, and uh, has a built-on tip. And look at this. Perfect fit, man. None of that rice aroni eBay shit. Looks good. And it's 3 inch all the way from the turbo all the way back. The oil cooler got moved behind one side of the inner cooler just for better fitment. Um, so yeah, it's coming along. We got two inch intake piping, and most of you are going to be like, "Why well, you got two inch and uh, two and a half inch?" Uh. Um, it's we're not going to outflow the two inch. Like at the horsepower le horsepower levels we're looking at, you know, 450 at the max. You know, it might become a problem close to that number, but until then. Um, you know, it's going to be fine, so don't stress out. 
I'm gonna get a bunch of crybaby eBay kits complaining. Well, you should got the two and a half inch Chinese kit, man. It would have worked great. So, anyways, the fitment on this car is tight everywhere. So the fact that we're not gonna outflow it and two inch helps everything fit a lot better. Can't complain. So downpipe is coming down, all purdy. Look at that. Here's the downpipe, so it's coming out. Coming down, it'll clear the fan, it'll clear everything else. You can't really get a good angle on it there. We're gonna ceramic coat it and titanium heat wrap it, so heat should not be an issue. The turbo's got a turbo blanket, a titanium turbo blanket for that. And then that comes down here. It comes like this. Boom. Now we're getting the wastegate routed in, and the wastegate is not gonna dump. It's gonna go back into the downpipe here. Here's pretty much what it's gonna look like with the poofy, sexy titanium cover. Uh, we're gonna have a 90 come up. It's gonna hook around the stainless steel line and go in to here with another 90 to get the oil feed. Then on the bottom, we're gonna have a dash eight. Go down to the oil pan, which is a dash eight. That's the, where the blow off valve's going. We're gonna have the vacuum line going off. We're gonna have to tee into something over there, some vacuum source. Um, but yeah, so this is how this is gonna sit. I'd like to thank everybody for checking out this video. And uh, next video, we should be starting this beast. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, till next time, wrench on.